Welcome to Sethcraft. If you're using easel to design and cut for your CNC machine and you want to exclude a shape from another shape, so for instance, if I have a rectangle and then a smaller rectangle and I want to basically cut out of the big one to have a shape that ends up like this, then uh, I have a tip for you. So I want to show you that here today. Let's go ahead and jump on to easel, make this shape, and then hop back over here to the CNC and cut it out so you can see what it looks like. I have an easel project opened up. Let's go ahead and make a rectangle like my little example a moment ago. And let's say we have to have a, another small piece. And let's say this needs to be one inch by one inch. There we go. And let's just say it needs to be here on this side. So first of all, if I place this close to the edge, I can select the background and then I can say, uh, let's see this one right here, put it on the edge, very good. And let's just center it right there. All right, so this shape is in position. Now if I go up here to the cut and I just move it up to don't cut, over here in the example, it looks good, but let's say I need this to actually cut on uh, this right here, the cut on the shape path. If I do that on both of them, it's just going to do some weird stuff and it's not going to be what we want. So let's back both of these out here. So the secret is to make sure that you have a zero cut on the piece that you want to exclude. And now click both of them, right click and combine. Now it is one piece so I can go and change the shape and it will do what we're wanting here. So very simple to go ahead and uh, exclude that piece in that manner. So now that we have this piece set up, let's move over here to the CNC and cut this out. Now I can also do all kinds of other things. So let's say we wanted to add a star to this up here in the top, um, just like this little portion right here. We would do the same thing. Bring that up to zero, select the two, and then uh, just right click and combine. And once again, as you can see over here, it's just going to uh, cut out or ex exclude that piece from the rest of the, uh, the material there. All right, let's go ahead and do the carve here. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. Let me set this in the new position. All right, and the job is done. Let's remove these clamps and see how we did. There we go. So you can see the star is up here and that little square that we removed from the other piece here. So basically, I just took a couple of shapes, placed it on a bigger shape, and then told this to basically have zero cut and then combined it with the back and it excluded those shapes from the background. Now, the way that I cut this out, you could have easily just put these shapes on top and uh, said, don't carve here. Um, but as soon as you try to do either on the path or inside or outside the path, it will throw some weird errors. So combining those definitely makes a big difference. If you want to check out some more easel projects, I have a playlist link in the description down below. And I also have a playlist if you want to see the Carve King 2 from Millwright CNC. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.